welcome back to the Citizen Channel. We're all staying safe and well. And our, well, our regular features have a little table as well. This is Match Day Program Watch the Away version. Uh, at the moment, we've got Wolves leading the table on 8 out of 10. And uh, up up the bottom or down the bottom, shall we say. Uh, uh, oh, well, not quite literally, but uh, yes, on the way at the moment as I'm recording this. Chelsea uh, rock bottom of the table at 6 out of 10. So we're going to have a look at this one today. The uh, Saints programme for not the greatest game for City. Yes, I'm recording this just after another not great game as well. Um, played just down the road. But uh, yeah, uh, the Carabao Cup fifth round, of course, on the 11th of January 2023. A long way to travel for that. But uh, it is what it is, isn't it? So I'm going to have a look through that today. And interesting in, in one way or another. So we'll have a look through that. Please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. Great to have you on board. Spread the word, everything City past, present, forever. And if you're pressing those buttons, just press that little like button as well, that little thumbs up button. for be much appreciated by an old, pretty worn out City fan at the moment. It's not been the greatest few days. Right, so please, what we're going to do with this one? Well... We've got a problem. We've got a little problem with this one. It's uh, three pound fifty. Well, it's the face value. It says three pound fifty, uh, but it's a little bit thin. <laughs> it's a little bit thin, and you just get thirty six pages. But yes, I went up to buy it, and uh, the guys selling them. They were selling them for two pound. This was at Southampton itself. So, yeah, obviously the the plan perhaps on a bigger issue for whatever reason i'm not too sure what it is i mean this is this is a kind of our cup quarter final cup, you know should have a, a little bit more uh sort of in your program i think so there might have been other reasons for it but anyway they saw the you know at two pound it's, it's probably passable as as what it is for uh, for just 36 pages so interesting so be careful on that anyway if you're going to buy this uh on online i can't see it may be at the southampton shop check with them first but make sure you're not paying three pound fifty plus postage because it was only being sold for two pound so uh, be, be careful out there guys yes uh, and within that there's six pages we've got eight pages of promotion so about uh, well, just under a quarter 22 percent of the magazine it's not great a very simple layout nothing spectacular and as you'd expect a reduced Reduced information inside the specific city section, just a couple of pages. Uh, just no, just have a quick look. They got our nickname correct, the citizens, but spelt with an I, which I like to see. And it has our Etihad capacity, a very lazy 55,017. But we always, we know that we've had uh, seats taken out because of this advertising hoarding. So it's nearer 53,400 now, I think. So just a little bit of laziness from, from clubs and the whoever put in these magazines together you know they're just assuming obviously that's what it was two or three seasons ago and so just a little bit of homework and you can find that out so it does annoy me a little bit we get nathan jones talking about the team as you'd expect an interview with their new signing 30 year old mislav orsic so yeah you can interview with him a shout out yeah to to a city fan young city fan who was the mascot on the night the poor bugger because uh, it was absolutely peeing down as well he didn't have the greatest night and uh, jake aylesbury well, well done mate it wasn't you know uh getting down there hope you enjoyed yourself he was a city mascot so a quick shout out for him my favorite match has a guy called barry webb who's connected with southampton he looks back at a game at the etihad in 2012 yes 2012 13 and then you get franny banali who's obviously connected with southampton looks at what's happening at southampton at the moment you know what's coming up games what's happened games etc etc and yes as you'd expect in 30 odd pages with the uh, a quarter of it for adverts etc that's about it there's a couple of the bits and bob stats and stuff you'd expect and in latest news from southampton but a bit feeble so let's go back let's go back to that 2012 game of course uh, city were then the uh, defending chap we just won the league and we just won the premier league so we welcome the saints i think this was the first game of the season on the 19th of august and just interesting to look at the from a southampton angle and we'll we'll join the match report if you like in the article late in the first half with the with the uh, score at nil nil uh, the uh, Barry Webb says we were battered by the champions in the first half but it looks as if we might survive when Kevin Davis saved a penalty from David Silva however our resilience and luck ran out when we conceded in the fourth shift minute 
Carlos Tevez was played in by Sami Nasri and finished with a low shot at the near post before half-time. There were further threats and Kelvin made a good save from Edin Dzeko. In the first 10 minutes of the second half, City continued the onslaught, but they missed good chances by Dzeko, Clichy and Silva. Then on 55 minutes, enter Ricky Lambert. As a replacement for Jay Rodriguez, there was a real change of mood in the visitor's stand and his arrival also seemed to offer a fillip to the team. Only four minutes after coming on, Richie scored from just inside the penalty area. He made his mark and his Premier League career was up and running. Ricky's equaliser lifted our spirits, but more was to come after only three minutes on the pitch. Debutant Stephen Davis scored. It's 2-1 to Southampton. In the away section, cameras and phones were held aloft to record the scoreline. Yeah, the picture up there but we will soon be given our first reminder of the ups and downs of premier league football especially when playing the champions a euphoria euphoria lasted for only a few minutes when a ball which had hit yaya tori fell kindly for jekyll to score it was no great surprise that the resilience and determination of the champions had paid off at the time and i felt that 2-2 draw would be respectable but we're all lingering under a false storm despite the best efforts of the saints to hang on including a fine save by calvin from a Torre free kick on 80 minutes. Sami and Nasri put the game beyond our reach when he hit a half volley into the top corner. On the coach home, there was a mix of disappointment at the results and pride that we had forced the champions to put up a real fight. Yeah, all credit to your city team that night, just as a matter of interest. Hart company, Zabaleta, Lescott, Rodwell, Clichy, Nasri, Silva, uh, Balotelli came on for him in 72 minutes. Torre, Aguero, Jekyll, uh, he came on for. Uh, Sorry, Jekko, 14 minutes. Um, yeah, so yeah, so Jekko must come on. You know, Aguero must have picked up an injury. So Jekko came on as 14 minutes. Tevez and Kolarov replaced him on 87 minutes. As a matter of interest, the Saints team, Davis, Klein, Hulveld, Font, Fox, Schneiderlin, Ward, Prowse, Davis came on for him. Lalana, Duprada, Punchonchart came in for him on him 86. And Rodriguez, Lambert came in for him on 55 minutes so there you go guys that's the program say short and sweet uh, yeah I can't do it. I've got to put it at, I've got to give it a 6 out of 10 which is my standard score and put it at the bottom what I do like about it is at least for 2 quid eh, certainly better than half and half scarf isn't it it's a memento it's a memento of the night and obviously for Southampton fans and any perhaps young Southampton fans who might have gone to the first game that night at 2 quid eh, you can't complain with that I mean I must admit I should have bought a few and sold them at 3.50 shouldn't I but I, should, I, missed, I missed a trick there guys but uh, there you go I wouldn't have done that anyway because I'm not that sort of person. But interesting anyway, as I say, it's, it, it is for a for a two pound program. It's fine, it's okay. But I'll have to put it to the bottom. So the wolves wolves remain top of the program away league on eight out of ten. And as I said, when you if you want to buy this say, as a, as a memento, uh, just be careful. Uh, only only two quid face value, even though it might say three pound fifty on it. So be careful. Next up, yes, well, next up again after saying. Uh, a disappointing day, but next up we'll be having a look at the old United program, uh, the old Trafford program. So join me for that, and let's 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 hopefully find a little bit of joy inside that uh, in that tome, as opposed to what we unfortunately saw on and off the pitch, uh, of course, uh, the other day. Thanks for watching. Please uh, let us know your comments, let us know your thoughts. It'd be great to hear from you. And until we meet again, that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Bye for now.